item is cheap, which I think is a big indicator. You know, people are looking for bargains. They want to buy something that they need and they don't want to pay too much for it. So I think the strategy right now is to keep prices low. You know, try to get yourself at least a, you know, five, ten dollar margin on, on your item. And, and I think it'll be worth the time. Especially. What's up, Daniel? My name is Guys and welcome back to the channel. And we're back at it again with another video this week. And I have to tell you that I feel like I've gotten myself in a time machine. And I've gone back to the summer of 2021 because if you would have told me a year ago that today in your Facebook shop you'll be struggling to get sales, I would have called you a liar to your face. Nobody would have imagined that right now in the middle of summer of 2022, everybody will be suffering and not just drop shippers, a lot of people who are not drop shippers are suffering such low sales on their shops i would have called you crazy but here we are it's july it's 2022 and we are living that right now as we speak so what this video is about is actually going back to all of our original roots which was facebook marketplace and exploring is the individual marketplace a lot better for you right now in this moment in time. I'm going to tell you something right now. I'm having a really hard time wrapping my head around why is Facebook shops just sucking so bad right now. It's like it's so frustrating that it's sucking so much right now. And I can remember going back to the beginning of the year all the way until I would say May. I mean, shop sales were doing so well. It was doing so well. And then all of a sudden, you know, late May, June, and now into July has just been a, a total disappointment, to be honest with you. And there's just so many opinions out there on what, me, what might be contributing to the slowdown. You know, some people are saying that, you know, because Facebook shops, you know, decided not to charge any selling fees from now until the end of the year, that that could be, you know, playing a factor that maybe they want to slow down the sales. Uh, in, in some respect, um, there's also the economy to consider, inflation, you know, things are much more expensive. Uh, you know, people are not spending so much, you know, on frivolous like products and just, you know, spending on the items they maybe don't need. And they'd rather put their money more onto experiences or shopping, you know, at actual stores or things like that. Right. But at, I mean, at the end of the day, like nobody really knows like what the hell is really going on with Facebook shops. Um, I wish I could put my finger on it. Um, I just can't at the moment. And for now, we're just going to, you know, assume that, you know, it's, it's something that is part of the, you know, growth of Facebook shops. And we can only hope that things do get better as we start heading into the most critical months, which is going to be October, November, December. This is really when all of us are really going to make bank and make our money. But for now, what we're left with is... Facebook Marketplace. The month of June, I had more sales in my individual account than I had in my Facebook shop, which says a lot, right? That really says a lot. So if right now you're struggling, if you're having issues, then I will highly recommend you start to double down into your marketplace. Get as many listings as you can into your account. Get your best sellers from your shop into your individual marketplace and see what happens. I guarantee that you are at least going to see a lot more sales right now than on your Facebook shop. So, so far, if you guys have any questions, you know, please leave them down in the comment section down below. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please consider subscribing. I do make a video every single week. And if you're liking the video so far and liking the content, finding it entertaining, and it's bringing a smile to your face, then give the video, you know, two thumbs up. It really helps to push the video out. It helps the YouTube algorithm to send my channel to a lot more people and have more people discover a lot more of my content. So with all of that being said, let's go inside of my marketplace. Let me show you roughly what's been happening. And again, this is not a direct cause and effect. You know, I don't know what's happening right now, but rumors are is that marketplace seems to be performing better. I have some proof and let's take it from there. So okay, so we're now inside of my individual marketplace account. And as you can see, like I said, I haven't really been paying attention to my account. It's really a little bit embarrassing. I only have uh, three active listings and these are listings that I actually put up myself because I wanted to test this theory out that marketplace is doing a lot better and what i am noticing is the item that i am selling the most which is this item right here and actually i'll try to zoom in a little bit more so 
the item is cheap, which I think is a big indicator. You know, people are looking for bargains. They want to buy something that they need and they don't want to pay too much for it. So I think the strategy right now is to keep prices low. You know, try to get yourself at least a, you know, five, ten dollar margin on, on your item. And, and I think it'll be worth the time, especially if you're selling a lot of them. And so this item right here has received over a thousand clicks. Um, so this one is doing very well for me and this actually has been one of my best sellers to date And this is why I was saying that I need to get my VA to start to get more of our hot sellers from my shop Over to my marketplace because I'm now very curious to see what's going to happen um, The other thing I wanted to point out to you guys Are the the, the, the payouts so it's July we, we just started July about a couple weeks ago and I received um, one two three four so four sales um i mean it's not bad <laughs> it could be worse it could be zero sales but four sales so far a lot better than my shop that's for sure uh just in the month just in the in the you know few weeks that we're into july and then as we head into june uh you can see here that um i had you know a, a lot more um sales here in, in june which again it goes back to my point that this is doing a lot better than my than than my shops which is kind of you know embarrassing to say but for some reason facebook marketplace is doing so much better so um so this is january that one's pretty so this goes to show you that la the last time i was actually active on my marketplace store it was back in january so it's been six months um since i've been active just because all the attention was on facebook shops um, so, so those are the payouts. And then the last thing I wanted to show you here is um, as of the last day or so, I received three more orders for that same product. Again, all under, you know, $20, you know, not including shipping. And this seems to be the items that people want to buy right now. And I think this is where we kind of want to double down and list more in Marketplace. So now that I've shown you, you know, just a sample size of what the potential could be with Marketplace, like you saw, you know, my own account right now. And there, there is recent sales history activity in July right now compared to what I am not seeing on my shop, which is any sales. And I just can't understand why. So... I also want to, you know, give you guys some pointers as to maybe what items you might want to be listing on your individual marketplace. So right now, my best seller happens to be an item that is within like the health and beauty category. Now, I know this category can be a little bit uh, difficult because you might get flagged um, if the item goes against the policies with Facebook. But you always have the option to, to take the item down in the event that something does surface. So I would explore listing items in this particular category. It's been doing very well for me. And I need to thank my VA because actually she was the one who started to go down this rabbit hole. And we found such great sellers that were doing so great on Facebook shops. So now we want to bring those over to Facebook Marketplace and see how they perform. So again... Thank you for watching. My name is Daniel. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like the video. And if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comment section. So with that being said, I'll see you guys next week with a brand new video.